All right, I'm at the Charge On Tour with new athletic director Terry Mohodger. Terry, how are you doing today? I'm doing great. How are you doing? Great. Thanks for giving me a few minutes today. Terry, in your introductory press conference, you mentioned how much you liked the Knights theme. Now, we know that UCF has been uh, in contact with their, the space program, yes. and there is a portion of our fan base that would like to see us switch to Citronauts. Yeah. What do you, how do you feel about the Citronaut as our secondary logo? I love it. I think it's fantastic, and I agree with them, especially with our heritage of how our university was built and uh, keeping that space theme and with our proximity to uh, Kennedy. Uh, and so, you know what? I love it. I, I, I like knights because of what knights represent and uh, what, what a knight really is. And um, so, no, I, 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 I think having both logos and, and, uh, or, or having a secondary logo as a citronaut is, is wonderful. So you've been in town now for a couple of months. I'm sure there's been a lot of questions about UCF scheduling the last few years. How soon can we expect Alabama or even the Tampa Bay Buccaneers to appear on the schedule? Patriots. <laughs> Tampa Bay is too good right now. Uh, no, uh, but anyway, no, you know, we're behind in scheduling to be candid with you, and we're doing everything we can to get teams on the schedule. Um, I think there's going to be some exciting news for our fans here in the next, uh, you know, few weeks. And uh, hopefully it comes – I don't want to announce it because I don't know – I don't have a contract yet, so I always get a little leery about announcing anything without a contract. But uh, I haven't got a commitment. And I think it'll be – I think it'll really help us for recruiting. It'll help, help that school. And um, we're excited about it. So we're still trying to get some games. We just uh, signed a contract with FAU. Um, uh, we're going to go down there and play because we needed games, and it fits in well with our schedule that we could go on the road. Um, and so, and they'll come back in a few years, and it just just happened to work out that way. Um, and so, uh, we'll continue to we'll continue to uh, burn up the phones, man. We've seen UCF go undefeated two years in a row, get left out of the college football playoff. Last year, we saw Cincinnati go undefeated, get left out of the playoff. You were on the CFP yeah. committee. You've been in the meetings. Yes. What does it take? Is, is there any chance a team from the American can get into the playoff the way it stands now at four teams? Yeah, I think so. I think it depends on who you're playing. You know, this year the American didn't play any non-conference games. And the reason why you see teams like Louisiana Lafayette and some of the – in Coastal Carolina, why you saw some of those teams move up quickly, they had, on a, they had out-of-conference matchups. And they beat Iowa State and number six Iowa State. They beat Coastal Carolina, beat BYU, and you saw that trajectory of them moving up. And I think really at the end of the day, um, you know, and this is just me personally. This is not a, as a committee member. I just think that uh, I think the committee got it right, uh, and uh, the top four teams were the top four teams. You know, I think the the, the four or five spot is always the, the most difficult. Um, but, you know, whether you're undefeated or not doesn't necessarily mean that you're the most deserving. Well, another thing you mentioned in your conference when you first took the job, you're willing to sell anything, whether it's the name on the locker or whatever it is. As we know, the name of the stadium is still up, up there. We don't have a naming partner. I know there's been a push on Twitter. Even coaches Malzahn's Twitter account tweeted out something to SpaceX. I'm sure you've been in contact with many companies. Can you promise us that the stadium will have a new name before opening day this year? I cannot promise you that. I wish I could because we can't just give, we can't give it away. It's got to be the right name. And, uh, but we will, we will be working hard to try to get that. All right, you've had a couple months now on and campus. not just the stadium. We have other, other stadiums, not just the football stadium, but we have other stadiums as well uh, that we need uh, some naming opportunities. And I really think the trajectory of our revenues can, will be our corporate play. How about Sons of UCF Stadium? How much like is it? That. You want how much? How much you want to give? <laughs> how much you asking? You think Emily? You think Emily can help pay for it? She yeah. eliminate Stan. What do you think? I'll go through her piggy bank when we get home. See how much she's got. <laughs> All right. Yeah, that's awesome. Uh, so you've been on campus for a couple months. Yeah. You've evaluated the other facilities. Where do you think we need the most improvement? We uh, we we there's a lot of work to do on facilities and and uh, you know um, and you know it's just it is what it is. Uh, uh, we, we got the, the campus itself is wonderful. Our student athletes absolutely love campus. They love the school. Uh, but we got some work to do on some facilities, and uh, we're doing some refresh. We're refreshing some of the facilities right now as we speak. Um, just just some dated stuff, you know, just just normal stuff. And so we, we got some catching up to do. 
you were a football coach yourself yeah. at Kansas for a few years, and back when Kansas was actually winning some games. Yeah, we were so, good. So Ninth in the country. How hard is it going to be for you to kind of stay out of Gus's ear? Are you, are you going to try to get in on some of those meetings and the game plans? No, I never get involved <laughs> in the game plans, but I, we do have – I do meet with my coaches uh, about, you know, just after – just review and just some. he just – I'm just there as a person to uh, talk to. Uh, other, you know, sometimes you can't always talk to your coaches, and I always wanted to be that ear for the um, for the head coach. So, you know, he might have something he might run around by me, not necessarily blocking and tackling or you know scheme or all that kind of stuff. Just other stuff that might that might come up, and and uh, you know I I do share what I observe, um, and but it's not like meddling. Um, I've done that with one of my head coaches. I usually meet with him on Sunday or Monday to, to discuss. And actually, for me, I learn a lot about the team, and I get asked questions like this, you know, you know, just functionality, players, really good kids. You know, I can be that mouth, another mouthpiece, another uh, – another promoter of the program when he says hey that our right guard for example is fantastic he's plays playing out as minors or our three technique is he's off the charts man he's one of the best ones in the country one of the best kids ever because i like learning that kind of stuff i mean you hear about yeah he didn't play as good but i don't really share that stuff that much it's really the positive stuff that i want to be that mouthpiece an additional mouthpiece for the uh, the program but you are his boss, so if you told him we want to open the game with a flea flicker, he'd have to listen to you, right? I would never do that. <laughs> I, would ne- I would never do that. Uh, I've never have, and, I, and I've had a bunch of coaches, and I would never do that. And, and uh, you know what? And if, if I told him to do that, I hope in this particular case that he would be insubordinate. <laughs> so, yes, I would never do that. So. All right. I, uh, I'm a season ticket holder. I sit in the black and gold cabana, 50-yard line. Thank you. A couple of years ago, when the Cabana first opened up, they used to have a deliver to your seat option. So I could order a beer or a hot dog. They'd have somebody deliver to my seat. The last couple of years, they took that away. Is that because of COVID related? No, it's before COVID that they, that they stopped doing that. I don't know. Maybe it just started getting too crowded in there. They didn't have uh-huh. enough. But selfishly, I'd love to see that get back. I hate missing any kind of place because I need to go get a new hot well, dog. Or- I'll have to find out. That's the first I heard. That's the first. I've had a lot of suggestions and a lot of advice, and that was the first one I've heard. So we'll have to check that out. So it was a concierge. It was kind of a, a concierge-type program, a VIP, where they would deliver stuff. Right, yeah. It was actually on my phone. I can type Table it in. Service, yeah. exactly. Right? Table service. Right to the seat. It was right, beautiful. Yeah, yeah okay. Well, well, I'll check it out. All right, yeah. My beer was there in five minutes. You'd I, love I loved it. You don't miss the game. You want to watch the game. Exactly. I got it. It's like a VIP. <laughs> VIP, VIP, okay, All right, gotcha. All right, thanks for your time. I just have a couple rapid fire ones, nothing yeah. to do with UCF, so okay. you get to know you a little bit. Sure. Beatles or the Rolling Stones? Beatles, by far. If this thing breaks into a karaoke event tonight, which song are you, are you singing? Um, oh, man, you something you too. All right. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. You, I, like, I like a lot of music, so. The Brady Bunch or the Partridge Family? Partridge family. Okay. And you look like you're in pretty good shape. Uh, most ADs may not be. Would you be able to win an arm wrestling contest among all the ADs in the country? Could I win an arm wrestling contest? No. There's some pretty, there's some big ADs out there that weigh some, some pounds. Could outweigh me a little bit. Well, could you take Danny White, the guy that just left town? Danny White? I don't know. Uh, I have no idea. Uh, he, he played basketball, played football, so you know that. So maybe. <laughs> All right, Terry, thank you so much. I appreciate you giving me a few minutes here. Right, good luck to you, okay? Sons of UCF, man. Appreciate you. Thank you, thank sir. You. Nice to meet you, Emily.